One of the biggest uh, shifts I made, I think, in the late 90s, 20 plus years into my leadership in the church world, is that I realized because of the change of the demographic of our church to a lot of the poor coming in from the inner cities, many of these third, fourth generation, you know, drug addicts or involved in crime or unemployment and, and so on and so on, uh, that I realized a lot of the things that I could talk to seasoned, mature Christians about, I couldn't talk to these people about. So I changed in lots of ways, one of which was, my language for it now would be, I stopped speaking to Christians and start speaking to humans and I recommend you do that too because I think when you speak to in your mind when you're planning to say something and you're saying it in your mind to church people then it takes on a bubble effect that it will not have if you think I'm saying this to humans. Um, so it changed what I talked about, it changed how I talked about it, it changed how I measured outcomes because I felt I was investing in human beings rather than Christians in a church bubble um, and I want to say that I think if you are a communicator and you're committed to uh, saying a thing well consistently especially in the church world I would advise you to stop speaking to Christians and start speaking to human beings if you speak to Christians about generosity then you may feel it's a good outcome that they're generous in their donation to the church. But it would not be a good outcome if they failed to be generous as a human the rest of the week. It's no good that they give some money into the offering on Sunday, but then they forget their wallet all week in being kind and generous to their friends and family. They never buy a round of drinks or they never pay for the movies or whatever. So they are generous in the bubble because that's what you taught them to be, but you didn't teach generosity as a way of life, you taught it as a way of church life. And that's a fail. And I think when we teach people things as Christians, it has outcomes inside the Christian tribe. But when we speak to people about things that matter to humanity, it benefits humanity. They carry it with them beyond the, beyond the gathering of the church they heard it in, and they're instantly applying it in their homes and families and workplace and so on because we are, we are training them, we are growing them as great human beings, not great Christians. So you that are preachers and pastors and speakers primarily to a church audience, I want to encourage you to speak to us as humans. Don't speak to us as Christians. You are robbing us of being great humans um, and we're trading off that for being great Christians, which means we're only good around people like us. We're only good in the bubble of church life. We want to be good in life generally. We don't want to be good just in church life. So speak to us as humans. Speak to yourself as a human. Come to us as a human. Don't come to us as a Christian leader and your own head's in a bubble. Come to us as a human. Immerse yourself in what it is to be human and speak to us as a human and entrust us with your humanity and speak to us as humans. Help us to become great humans, not just great Christians.